hey guys and welcome to this video tutorial where we're going to be learning how to integrate one signal push notifications in our ionic applications so let's go ahead and get started so in this video guys we're going to walk through together and learn how we actually get this done now i know some of you just follow these videos sometimes and just watch code being written and you actually don't know where it's coming from so today we're going to go over all the processes that we need to follow to be able to include one signal push notifications in our android app so let's get started first things first let's head over to onesignal.com as it is here and with that done if you don't have an account then you need to create an account so i already have an account already and i'm just going to click on login now my credentials are here already and i'll just click on login after you've created your account and you have logged in you need to navigate and look for a button that says add new app so i'm gonna go ahead and click on add new app and i'm going to name this application ionic push like that and let's click create now as you can see after i've clicked on create i get greeted with this uh, page that says edit app ionic push so in this video we're gonna be looking at how we can implement for google or android so let's click on google android and click on next and here we see that we need to put in a google server api key as well as a google project number so let's go ahead and click on read the documentation and see how we do this so it opens up a new tab and let's follow along on the instructions so it says here one let's create a new firebase project so visit the firebase console and sign in with your google account so let's do that so i'll just right click and say open a new tab so here i am i'm logged in into my firebase console let's quickly just head back to the one signal documentation and see what we need to do next so here i see it says click on go to console so i'll go click go to console and once i'm in my console let me just head back and see what the next step is i'll scroll down it says create new project so let me go ahead and create a new project and i see there's an option here to add a project so i'll click on that and i'll quickly just name this project ionic and i'll choose my country i'm currently based in south africa and i'll click on create project now once my project is created and i see it here let me head back to the documentation and see what it says in one signal so i've created my project here and let's see the next step so it says here click the gear icon in the top left and select project settings so let's quickly go ahead and do that let me head back and see what the next step is select cloud messaging and then let's see the next step and then it says i then need to save these two values the google server api key which would then be this one and the sender id also known as a project number which is then this one here let me just scroll down and see what i need to do so yes telling me that i need to head back to my one signal console and then configure my google android and i'll scroll down and then i see that i need to paste in my google server api key and the google project number here and press save so let's quickly go ahead and do that so first things first is that i'll go ahead and i'll copy this server key here and just press on that and say copy and head to my one signal our console and then i'll paste it in here and then the project number i'll head back here is this one here and i'll paste it in my google project number here and press v and press save with that done i'll go ahead and click on phone gap cordova or ionic here and click on next and then it will give me my app id here so let's carry on and see how we configure the rest of the application so while i'm here i'm gonna head back to my documentation that we opened earlier here and then i'm gonna go down to sdk api reference and then go down and click on ionic sdk i'll click on check out our ionic sdk setup guide i'll scroll down the page and in here i see that this is a command that i need then to run so i'll just go ahead and copy this and head into my ionic project that i recently created so i'm gonna go ahead and open up my ide which is visual studio code now within this blank project that i've opened up or i've created called android push i'm gonna navigate to source 
app and app component, right? I'll just leave it open like that for now. But in the meantime, I need to run that command, right? So I'm gonna to go to view integrated terminal and then paste that command that we need to run. Now I'm currently on Ionic 3.5, I think. So I'm just gonna run this. And I know that I have to now add in an additional word in here. So I'm just gonna paste that code in again. And I'm gonna type in the Ionic Cordova cause I think that's what we need to put in here. So I type Cordova and then let's run it again. And then I'll say yes. So with that plugin installed, let's go ahead to the documentation and let's scroll down to the second point here where it says add required code. And in this instance, we're using Ionic TypeScript and we'll just copy here from the variable all the way to the bottom here and press command copy, head back to Visual Studio Code and I'll quickly just hide my terminal and also my Explorer and paste in the code under platform ready here. So I'll quickly just go at the end of where it says splash screen hide and I'll just create some space and then paste in my code. So we don't need all of this here. So I'll just remove this. And in here we need to put in our app ID. So let's go ahead and see where we get that from. Let's head back to our browser and to our OneSignal console. And here is our app ID. So let's just highlight it and copy, head back to our application and paste it in, in here, as well as our Google project number. This we find in our developer console. So let's head back to our browser in here. And then this is the number that we need. I'll just copy that again, head back to our application and paste it in. Let's save that. Now with that done, let's run our Android simulator. So I'll bring in my terminal and I'll type in the Ionic Cordova run Android. My emulator is starting up. Now let's quickly just check if our push notification service has been set up correctly. So let's head back to our OneSignal dashboard and let's click on check subscribe users. And there we see here that we've got a subscribed user. So let's click on done and let's click on new message. And I wanna say, I wanna send to everyone. So I'll click next and my title, I'll say Ionic and the message will say, this is super awesome. I'll click on next, click on next again. There are all the other settings here that you guys can uh, can play around with, but I won't go through all of these things here. I'll click on next again, and I'll click on send immediately. It's already chosen here. Click confirm, and I'll say send message. So here it shows us my message has been sent. Let me head back to my application and see if it has been received by my emulator. And there I see my push notification message showing up saying Ionic. This is super awesome. And I'll click OK. So guys, there you go. There you have it. This is how you set up push notifications using one signal for Android apps. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Cheers.